Hi, my name is Shakespeare Lewis, safety at Robert Morris University, and you're watching Cycles. I am born in um, Haiti. I moved to Ottawa when I was nine. Um, I started picking up football about when I was 15 years old and then played a couple years there in Ottawa. And after that, I was able to get an opportunity to go play down south at Clearwater Academy International, where I was able to pick up a full scholarship to come to Robert Morris University. Um, so back when I was in Haiti, it was really my grandma that raised me. It was me and my older sister. And um, so my mom ended up leaving when I was about three years old. I didn't meet my dad until I moved to Ottawa when I was nine. So um, I think it was really different because I mean, I'm trying to go back and visit my grandma, obviously. And um, just, I think the adjustment, the biggest adjustment when I moved when I was nine really was just to adapt to stuff. And then I speak three languages, which is uh, um, something I don't say much, but I speak three languages. And I was kind of forced into it because moving to Canada, specifically Ottawa, which is bilingual for um, English and French, I had to learn both of these languages um, right away, where as to Haiti, all I was speaking was Creole. So I think that was the biggest challenge and the biggest, um, just the biggest difference when I leaped from Haiti to Ottawa, really. That was the biggest challenge. And the three phases I had to adapt to was um, went from Haiti to Canada and from Canada to America. So um, just being able to deal with different people, I think that was the biggest um, leap for me when it came to coming from growing up in Haiti and moving to Canada and having to adapt fast to the culture, how people do certain things, the type of different type of people you have to deal with. and. I think also um, when I leave from Canada to America, I think just people here are a lot more competitive. Um, and yet again, having to, uh, the challenge had was like uh, having to deal with different people. So um, I think just switching different positions and being in different places, like you have to deal with different people. So I think that was the biggest challenge. Yeah, I think there's many different little things kind of bundled up together that shaped me in the person I am right now, especially because I had to go through a lot of different adversities. Um, and especially just being from Haiti, not a lot of kids get that opportunity to go from Haiti and all the way down to playing Division One football. So I think that was the first thing. And um, just different scenarios, really, like my first Division One offer, I lost that scholarship. Um, it's just may have been different ways, family situations, um, just different scenarios that happen. Really, there's a lot more to it that I can I can't really remember right now. But I think that, and also the people around me, the people around me really helped me shape the person that I am right now. It looked like Shakespeare Lewis. in terms of football, Clearwater definitely shaped me in a way because, I mean, especially the first year I was there, I played with a lot of good football players, so I had to step up my level of game and um, just being able to also go up against a lot of good athletes in the state of Florida, just I had to raise up my level of competitiveness also and show people that just because I'm from Canada that I can also play football, so I think uh, my level of competitiveness definitely went up and I think since, like, just like you said, I had to adapt to different situations and all that, I think it's just, I always have a, had a positive mindset and always remember where I came from. So that kind of helped me out a lot.
Um, so I'm pushing, I'm trying to push myself every day, just um, even if it's in the classroom, um, just being a better person, um, trying to be a better teammate, uh, just day to day trying to be a better um, son, just helping out my family, just being there for the people that support me and love me. So um, I think all of that kind of like pushes me more into um, getting closer to my dreams, basically, because um, I believe that like just being able to be there for the people that support you is is major. and. Um, when it, came, when it comes to this team and the situation I'm at right now, well, last season, um, we didn't have a good season. So we're trying to bounce back from that, which that was a really big adversity um, to come back from. So I'm trying to just be a better teammate, help my teammates get better, don't help me get better. So we can just become better players, I guess. Yeah, I'm launching my own brand. It's called Revenge of the Dreamer. And the whole idea behind it, it's a lifestyle really. Um, just because of where I come from, I'm a dreamer myself. And the revenge that I'm talking about is a good revenge. Cause um, just for people that has been overlooked, um, just for the people that got a goal they've set for themselves and just for the people that want more out of life and for the people that um, just wanna do better that got a dream, so Revenge of the Dreamer is coming for everything, really. So that's really my uh, my motivation behind it, and it's really a lifestyle. I'm gonna um, drop hoodies, um, t-shirts. There's a lot of things I'm working on right now since I just got started, but that's really the main idea behind it. I've been uh, thinking about it for a while, and I have a couple of my friends already that are in the clothing industry. I kind of um, had a couple conversations with them, and I'm in, and I'm in business myself, so it's always been something I've been interested in, but I never knew how to start it or if I should have started. So um, that's really, it's been a while since I've been thinking about it, honestly. And when it comes to the logo itself, the stars really represent the dreamers. Um, just like as little kids, you know, when you watch like cartoons, you see like people dreaming every time it's always stars popping up. Um, so that's kind of like the motivation behind it. And stars just, I, in, my, in my mind, just stands for dream big, you know, shoot for the stars. Like people always say, um, in the globe, I mean, just being able to take over everything that you have to, just being able to take over everything that you have to conquer, all the trials and tribulations and just everything you have to go through to get to that dream. So I think that's really what it stands for. I say just the whole vision behind it, honestly, is whatever you partake in, just aim for success in it. And there's always success in whatever you may be partaking in and your dreams can always come true. So just keep going. I think the people that are wearing this merch I hope they can just find a certain type of confidence through it, just to know that they can achieve anything that they put their minds to. Because especially, um, I think I always think about my journey from where I started until now. I never thought I'd be in this situation. So I think if I can be here, then there's a lot of people that are able to fight through whatever they're going through to be in the same situation. So I think that's what's revenge of the dream. Honestly, the main reason why I really started working on my clothing brand right now was I came to the realization that I really had, because you know what most athletes just like, um, you go to, you think you go to practice, go to class, go to meetings, and you don't have time. But I think we always have a little extra time we can just use to work on our dreams and work on the stuff outside of our sports. And my biggest thing this year was to find myself outside of my sports. So. Um, that's kind of the thing that's really motivated me to find even on the extra times that I have to just work on my um, on my goals outside of football. It's never gonna get easier, but quitting will make you won't get you closer to your goals. So that's the biggest advice that I have. And an advice I would give to my younger self. Um, 
work harder. Honestly, it is work harder. Cause I, I don't know, I always feel like I could have always done more. So no matter what a person say, they work hard this and that, but you could always do more. And that's just, I'm a firm believer in that.